No, right, I'm pretty sure you're all now aware that I'm such like an entrepreneur, right? Uh, you know, it's on my Instagram and everywhere. I'm such an entrepreneur, so so talented. And so for years, I've wanted to start my own airline, man. And I, I you know, finally made this dream come true. Look at that, Swiss is there one airlines. Not affiliate with the actual Swiss International Airlines. Um, please don't sue me. It doesn't actually exist. Everybody is Swiss 001 Airlines. I've always wanted to make this dream come true. And it's now possible. Because there's a new add-on for the Flight Simulator X-Plane FSX. For, for any flight simulator out there, practically. That simulates passenger and crew. Called Passenger 2. Or passenger squared? Wow, that's a math equation there. Pretty cool. You can, you know, create your own airlines, have passengers aboard, ha have planes flying, and also have catering all you want. And there's even passengers on board who do your flying. Everybody, today, it is time to finally found the virtual airlines of Swiss Air One and try to be the worst airline possible. I just really want to see if I can get that zero score. Yes, everybody, I've already bought the Passenger 2 software or Passenger Squared software for 30 bucks here off the store. And it's time to enter my name, uh, Nick. How many flying hours do you have? A million thousand. Perfect. It's like your flight simulator. Truly, it is time to create an airline now called... Swiss 001 Air. Uh, perfect. I ate a coat. Uh, the. Yeah. Initial startup investment. Yeah, half a billion dollars. Perfect. All right, and so here we go with the company portal of Swiss 01 Air. I like this. Now we've got $500 million to spend. Let's go ahead and spend it on some airplane. Uh, 737. Come on. 7378. This is the one we have already here. Beautiful. Purchase price, $100 million. Perfect. So that is beautiful. We've got one plane already. We need a ground handling contract for sure. Uh, don't, don't really care. Logo handling, that's good. Quality, one out of six stars. I like that sign. Good. Catering contract, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we can select our caterer. Low cost catering, uh, yeah, let's do that. Worst quality ever. I want to make the worst airline ever. Good, sign contract, perfect. All right, let's come on, let's go and sell alcohol. Beautiful. Purchase quantity. 5,000 beers. No, yeah, perfect. Nice. Now, we still have a lot of money to go. Marketing, come on, let's spend it. Email, perfect. Newspapers, billboards, yes. Social media, TV, the best advertising ever. Human resources, oh yes. So the flight attendant, how much money they get. The flight crew, let's get very low pay. Like one, one dollar a flight. One dollar per flight hour. Crew commission pay, one percent. Yes, this is how you do it fairly. The best airline in the world. Very interesting how you can select all of this. This is a small little game here now in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and, you know, make a new flight. Perfect. Career, girl, you're in like, yes. Ikeo Airport Departure. We are right now here at Samaden Airport. A small airport that's not commercial at all. I don't even know where we're at here. But let's fly to Lowy. Everybody, yes. The first inter-alpine 737 commercial airlines flight. Departure time. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. How about 12? Perfect. Arrival probably an hour later. 13. Yeah, something like that. On the 737, we have flight number 001. Perfect. First class, 0%. We don't want any of that. All right. Oh, it didn't find our... Oh, probably because it's not a commercial airport. Oh, all right. Then let's fly from Munich here in Germany. We have to set up our flight a little bit further here. Yes, everybody. Welcome indeed to Munich Airport, where we're now going to do our inaugural flight. Our first flight here. Let's go ahead and set that up here. Flight setup. We can set the sound pack or the safety announcement. I'm pretty sure here. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. Duty free flight, transit flight, immigration announcement. You know, we're flying inter-European. This is good. So the economy ticket price. Let's make it really expensive. First class ticket price, really expensive. Cargo price, really expensive. We've got to be the most expensive airline by being the worst. Great. This is actually, this is going great. All right. This is our boarding pass. And here we go. We can already see some an an animation of boarding. Uh, why is there no boarding music? Hmm, we can add that later. There you go. Look at that. To Innsbruck. Please wait, everybody, on board while we are boarding up. Beautiful. Yes, everybody. Start boarding. Yes, look at that. Why is there no, pa why is there no passengers here? Well, not, where are the passengers, goddammit? Why does no one, want to no one wants to fly me? Help! I guess we made the flight a little bit too expensive. Let's try again. I'm sorry. All right, let's maybe make the tickets really cheap here. Let's make them like $1. Yeah, really cheap price. I like to see that. 
Maybe then we'll get some more passengers going. Good. All right, crew's entering here. All right, come on. Let me now see if this time there are more people that actually board our flight. Come on, boarding. Beautiful. <gasps> yes, everybody, we've got our first boarding passenger. There's second boarding. Our first Welcome customers of the day. Zero. Welcome to flight zero zero one. The gate is now open for boarding. Beautiful. Now, obviously, we're going to be flying today. So, um, airline uh, zero zero one, because that's our uh, airline. Yes, we are now planning our flight number zero zero one. It's a lot of zeros and ones. Departure airport EDM. Beautiful. Yes, we've got some passenger satisfaction. 81% already. And we haven't even started. That is beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and enter our route into our airplane. And we can start flying just after boarding stop. Mm-hmm. Flight planning going very well. I like to see that. Meanwhile, the passengers are still boarding. All right, now our uh, uh, navigation is all set and done. We don't have ATC service today. We kind of have to uh, ride or, or die today. Beautiful. We're pretty much a full house today, aren't we? Come on, we can maybe speed up the process a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Come on, go faster. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, final call on 001. The first flight of 001. Took it out. Final call. Final call for passengers. Come on, get in. Five, four, three, one. Yes. Beautiful! Boarding complete, everybody, and so. Welcome to the Flight Number One. Today, from Munich to Innsbruck, a very short flight. If you also etwas benötigen, sprechen Sie uns an. Wir werden in Kürze die Flugzeugtüren schließen. Thank you so so much for uh, for the support and the, the, all the safety demo that I pre-recorded a few years ago. Thank you for flying Jeep Airlines. Now please watch the following safety video. But are you gonna? So please pay close attention to this beautifully animated clip. On your seat, there should be a seat belt from time to time. Securely fasten your seat belt tight and low. Lift the buckle to unfasten your seat belt. Good, let's get onto the taxi line here. Now it says here that the cabin isn't ready yet, but I believe it is so it has to be. Come on cabin, you have to really, you have to hurry up a little bit. I guess something I could do is have everyone brace or, or something. Evacuate. That's kind of cool. Emergency landing. That kind of that's kind of nice. But come on, we can't have an emergency like this on our inaugural flight. All right, everybody. So we have now taxi to runway two six left here on our seven three seven. The cabin is ready here on runway two six left. Let's finally take off. Um, I guess there's some plane of the skies here. Um, we don't care about that. We just want to go fast here. Uh, crew, please prepare for takeoff. So to crew. Time to breathe into our microphone. Time to get going. Passenger satisfaction is still at 79%, so that's actually kind of good. Now, is our plane properly prepared? Are we are we going professionally? No, not really. We don't have any V speeds, but that is just fine. We've got a few flaps, you know. We do only need a few flaps anyway. Let's go full power and take off now. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The first flight of my first airline is taking off beautifully. Beautiful. Nice. We won. Let's take off. Rotate. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Our first airplane is in the sky, and it looks so beautifully. Come on, let's get that vertical speed going now. Now, come on, or LNAV, everything we need. Beautiful, our plane is actually going. I like to see that. Take a look at how quickly we are ascending. That is beautiful, we're so quick. Turning around now for our route to Innsbruck. We have taken off with the seatbelt signs on. That's exactly what I would like to see. Beautiful. Nice, beautiful plane turning around now. Inbound for the Alpine Mountains. Well, all these passengers are here patiently waiting here. What, 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 what options do we have here? Flight deck. Aha, we can announce stuff. Announce turbulence. Now let's announce some turbulence. Captain, you know, you're being from, from the flight deck, this is the captain. We are entering an area of turbulence. Mm-hmm. Very good. That's what I like to see. Let's go ahead and unleash the seat belts. Beautiful. Now we can start flight service. Food and drink. Yes, we can sell food. We can sell duty free. We are now starting our in-flight service. We have a range of drinks and snacks available. Take a look at your menu card for today's options. Yeah, there you go. The card's moving. I mean, obviously now if we look into the cockpit, nothing's gonna happen. It's quite obvious. Yeah, it's uh, there's nothing here. 
which is quite sad. I mean, imagine that. Imagine having like a proper, proper thing here. Yes, there you go. They're selling. We only have beer now. Um, that's probably not going to make the passengers too happy. I want to see that passenger satisfaction rate drop. How can we make that work? How, can, how do we make the passengers less happy? I guess let's make the weather a little bit worse. We can make a hurricane out of it. That should be interesting. Oh my. Okay, all right. We do have a little bit of messed up wind, but that is just fine. We've got a plane that can very much handle it just fine. All right, dear passengers, things are looking absolutely okay. Passenger satisfaction is beautiful. All right, we're flying into the mountains now, into beautiful Innsbruck Airport. Things are looking good. Our plane is shaking around a little bit. How's your passengers going? Actually, they're very happy. I don't want them to be happy. All right, um, flights, uh, let's go ahead and get, close the seatbelts here, flight deck. Announce turbulence, because there's a lot of turbulence here. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of turbulence. Emer In fact, we're going to do an emergency landing at this kind of weather. Land landing. Okay, emergency. An emergency situation has arisen, and we will now prepare the cabin for an emergency landing. You must listen carefully to the following instructions. Okay, emergency! Because of weather. Now, would it make sense to divert to an airport that is not nearly impossible to land at now? Since our weather is actually properly simulating Hurricane Irma, this is quite a bit of a... This went a little bit out of control. In fact, actually, you know what? Talking about control, the autopilot of this airplane is quite satisfactory here. You can see it's like a little shaky in here for sure, but the autopilot is managing it just fine. Beautiful. Now, come on, let's go ahead and reduce her altitude. I just also reduce her speed here. They're now kind of in the mountains, but that's just fine, passengers. Yes, indeed, we're now in do. Uh, I like how we have just declared an emergency landing according to the add-on here, but the cabin crew is still selling beer. Beautiful. We're now going to be uh, approaching runway uh, 26 of Innsbruck. A bit of a shaky flight. Nothing to worry about, though. All right. Looks good. And we are now turning in for the approach, everybody, for runway 26 here. Looks great. Uh, good. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Choo, choo, choo. Now breaking through the clouds. Looks great. We are now above um, Alpine Valley. Meanwhile, uh, the cabin is still giving out beer. Good. Now, do I have visual contact to ground? To the airport? No. But that's just what you got to do, right? In order to be an airline boss, you have to go through everything. Now, can we, like, undeclare this emergency to our crew? Because obviously the weather has gotten quite a bit better here above the mountain. Yeah, yeah, we've got some beautiful headwind. I really like to see that. Nothing to worry about at all. Now, I'm very much trusting that the GPS here works right. And I'm guessing in these kind of conditions, visually, this runway would be very much closed. But we will very soon have to get rid of autopilot. Okay, that's good. That's just fine. We can see a runway. I can see a runway. That gives me a glimpse of hope. Oh, the wind is quite weird here. All right, passengers. Uh, once again, uh, you don't have to worry about that emergency landing that I was talking about earlier. Uh, obviously, uh, we... Uh, don't you worry, fellas. Because we are now in the final approach with rainbows next to us. The weather has gotten quite a bit better. It's quite relieved. Grace! Grace! The first Great. inaugural Great. flight of the airline has about to land. Let's Great. go ahead Great. and have everyone Great. race. Great. All right, looks good. We're a little high, and the wind is a little volatile, and it's shearing. So I'm kind of glad that we're a little faster. Great. Everything's Great. actually going quite well. Just, you know, considering the quite apocalyptic Great. circumstances. Great. Now, come on. I'm kind of interested. Like, what kind of landing should I do in order to not get those people satisfied? I wanted everybody to be not happy. Right, so I shall land a little harder, you might say. All right, let's put her down onto the ground. Continue there. All right, come on, let's put her down. Let's not, let's not, let's not catch her. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's a successful first landing. That is what I'm talking about. Now, let's go reverse this airplane. We have done our first professional good flight to Honors Airlines. We have landed now. Everybody's braced for good. Everything's gone very well. I like to see that. All right, come on. Let's make those passengers unhappy. Like, what are they saying, though? Information. Oh, 68% satisfied. They're a little bit too satisfied. How can we unsatisfy them real quick? Maybe shake the plane around a little bit. Maybe like that. Oh! Whoa! That's been pretty cool. Yes, that's how you get those people unsatisfied, right? Wait, oh, hold on. They're way just 99% satisfied. How can you be satisfied with that flight? Come on, let's make a really hard landing. Oh, 
and perhaps a crash. But still, they're sad. They're not even alive anymore. All right, come on. Spawn onto the gate and get everybody disembarked from the Earth plane. Disembark. Yeah, sir, buddy. Everybody's running out of the airplane. Although we have no information about that. You know what? This is actually quite cool. Uh, let's maybe end the flight already. Thanks for flying. Generating flight report. Okay. So yes, we had boarded half an hour before scheduled time. And arrived half an hour before scheduled time. Not bad at all. Landing rate, minus 300. I think it was more than that. Passenger report. I wish there was more choices on the menu. The food quality was bad. I wish there were more choices on the menu. Like watching air crash investigation. I'm scared. I wish there was more choices on the menu. We're all going to die. I wish there was more choices on the menu. We arrived late. But that's the passenger report. Very low satisfaction with a mixed review of food being bare and death pilot report good rough landing good financial report we made we made no money i mean the crew salary was five dollars <laughs> total income five thousand though not bad at all but we made uh, a profit of minus one thousand seven hundred not bad at all then there you go our airline has just uh worked uh staff are threatening a strike why why are they doing that the strike action has been called off yes the staff satisfaction is only 51%. I wouldn't really understand because of, I'm, I'm paying them $2 and that $1. But, yeah, not, not, not too bad at all. You know, this is actually quite of a little fun game. I like the concept of it. You know, the idea that people don't book your flight when it's too expensive and all that kind of shit is really cool. Overall, we haven't checked out all the features this add-on has. For example, we can ask pilots request food. I'll bring you something right away. What I'm a little bit disappointed by is that the passenger satisfaction is... I don't even know how that score is even made up. Like, genuinely, we're flying through a bigger storm with, like, a worse... We're not even going anywhere. Also, this flight that I just set up here is also delayed by, like, 12 to 5 hours. And so the people are happy. Right now, they're just ordering food. I'm just waiting for something special to happen because, yes, there could even be abnormal situations in this add-on. Just like there is in real life, drunk passengers, broken passengers, medical emergencies, that can very much happen. I'm just waiting for uh, someone to go sick after this flying. Or, you know what, maybe we're going to wait until that happens for another video. You know, we've tried out quite a bit of this new passenger squared add-on. And I do have to say, I think it's quite nice. It's quite a good flight, some companion. Obviously, we haven't tried out everything. This was only a very one-dimensional video. But there are a lot of other planes supported with their seat maps. There are other languages supported, other airlines, you know, they can add. It's also very customizable. You can make your own, you know, safety demonstration video or upload your own logo so it looks like your logo, the whole software and stuff. Really cool things. And therefore, I say this is Swiss Zero One approved. Obviously, there are other airline simulators out there, but I have never thought that they were very fun. I think this one is. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.